Hello everybody, welcome back to 7 Days Today. We're in the Darkest Before Dawn series and we are on day 77. Today we are going to focus mostly on trying to get the base horde prepped. Uh, I kind of want to go ahead and run the horde even if it's like not necessarily the finale because even if we run the horde and it works out okay and we can use like the finale to go to the big bunker or something like that and finally make my laser workbench because obviously they're not going to give me one. I'm okay Jen, it's fine. Anyway, uh, we're going to do the... I'm trying to figure out the wiring. That's what I was working on last night and I got a little bit more of it in. Uh, we got it all the way over there. I'm going to have to try... And I, I, I don't know, I don't think these things, cords, are very, very long. Of course, I, I just completely missed what I was aiming for, but that's fine, that's fine. You are wired up, and I managed to come outside without a way of getting back into my base because my bridge is not on. Cool. What are they doing over there? I guess now's a good time as any to pick these things up. Big grief. We got bodies everywhere. At least this side, I can kind of get up. There we go. And I open up my bridge, which is now located inside. Right there. And now it works. Nice. All right. Uh, let's get this side over here run. Uh, that side over there doesn't even have any ammo yet. So we're not actually doing a whole hell of a lot with that one. He's fun. I seriously just hear a whole bunch of footsteps. I'm doing a thing. Okay. Alright, now you guys are plugged up. Uh, I don't think I actually have it on though. So. Hey! Hey! No, 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 no! Dude! 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 Guys, I'm out here! Oh my gosh. Drum zombie. It was a prospector. Ow. Okay, okay. Alrighty. Mm. Now then, if we turn them on... These two should be working. Which means I should be able to tell it where to be looking, right? <laughs> yep, there we go. Uh, sure. Okay, you are working. Well, let's go get this one. Now, I do need to go ahead and take the perk for the electronics. Is that what it is? Electronic basics, ranged traps. We need this one. Okay, because we're going to put some serious firepower over here. We're going to need the bullets for it. Okay, now those should thin the herd. We will get... Some bigger ammo for the bigger bad guys. Hopefully it'll damage them enough by the time they get up here. Uh, they won't have regenerated or pulled in as much health as they should have. Now these are not hooked up just yet. As a matter of fact, I need to... Figure out what I'm going to do about those turrets too. 
This is a very good spot to have turrets sitting in and having them shooting from behind. But I feel like they need to be sitting inside of that block. Uh, I'm going to put the SMG here. And then we're going to do a D side and hope this whole thing does not collapse. I hope those back there are supporting it like they should. And I think tonight I'm going to actually spend the time taking all of this stuff out. It's going to take me a long time to do, but, you know, sometimes you're going to make the sacrifices for the gen. That doesn't need to be moved. Okay, that, and then that. I'm staking a lot that I'll be able to find the an adequate amount of ammo for it. Could I do... Okie dokie. Now then, I can take these guys apart. Sadly. Um, I, I guess I could move my land claim, but I I'm just not going to get into moving my stuff around like that. I always knew these shotgun turrets are probably not going to stay here. And if I'm not mistaken, I've actually got another couple of shotgun turrets. So who knows, they might make a comeback. Okie dokie. Uh, hold on, I have not upgraded this. Alright. So I'm going to have to... Uh, no, diagummit. Are you not gonna let me pick you up? Mm. Maybe not. Uh... You go to the second switch. Alright. And then from there... You go to that. Uh, uh, my bad, my bad. Wrong way. That way. To that one. Okay, and then from this... I'm gonna have to run... That, and... Uh, no. That. Well, you're not going to do it again. Um, there's no way for me inside the base to get this any closer to these like these things. So what I could do is, in the middle of the road, make a spot for it to go. Okay, well, let's get this one going where it needs to go. Uh, and... Actually, uh, I took everything out of this one. Go. Just fill you back in. It's still not on. Oh, no, what did I do? Now, doing that, that's on, that's on, let's make sure the turrets are actually on, and then I can hook up the ones that are up there too. Okay, let's make sure we're not hitting anybody coming up the stairs. You focus on the stairs. And you focus on the stairs. Not anywhere else. Alright. Now I just have to get ammo for everything, so I actually need to get a huge amount of... Let's see. 3, 6, 9... Okay, that's, that's good enough. That should fill them just about up. Uh, these can get put up for now, and I do have... Did I have some shotgun turrets, too? No. Okay, so this is for my bridge. This is for all the front turrets. This is for the back turrets. 
and I'm not going to turn on the back turrets unless it's a horde knight or something like that. Uh, so that part's done. Uh, that and all of the turrets don't actually have ammo as of yet. What else do I need to do? I need to get the whole area around the top done, and I've got blade traps that are sitting in there not actually doing anything. So where can I put blade traps that where they're going to be really, really helpful? I mean, I could stick them right in front of the spot where they're probably going to go. Uh, the issue is this kind of messed me up. I was actually planning on putting them on the pillars, but further up. Is every place I plan on putting one of these, take the bars up by one. Or turn them over so that they attach to the upper level instead of this block. That's a possibility. I would suck having to do all of them, but I could technically do the whole line that way. Damn. I need to make that decision before I move the- Ow! Ow, 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 ow! That design over here, because if I'm gonna flip the bars up, I need to do that before I line this whole side too. So I was planning on putting them up here, but to be honest with you, I'd rather have them right there. It's about proper height for them to, you know, smack some people in the head. So if I was going to do that, I would need to move those bars up one level, and they can sit on the bottom of that level. <laughs> there you go. Like, they would attach to this, rather than this. That's gonna take a whole lot for me to beat those back off of there, too. Okay, how's about these? How's about these? Since I haven't made any decisions that are apparently not gonna be contradicted later on in the future, let me... Oh my gosh, I'm actually running out of play. Uh, this has got a couple of hours left. This has got a couple of hours left. Can I get some forged iron? Uh, do me 500 over here. Uh, you. Do me some forged iron. Do me 500 over here. All right. And I will break them and just do those with wood bars until I get everything situated to be absolutely sure I don't do this again. I go through so many materials because the design changes or I get it there and realize, you know, there's not as many blocks as I originally thought there were going to be. This would be the perfect job for the auger, actually, because, well, I don't... I don't have any turret ammo up there, so those turrets are not going to be doing a whole hell of a lot. I'll divvy those up between these two guys over here. Just happened. Okay. Now, that should actually be on. I think they are. Right? Yeah, they should be. Alright. Now, let me get my auger. And I need to fix it. Okay, okay. Um, now, how does one want to attach it to this layer? Do I just want to put some frames, or do I actually want to try and upgrade those? Oh my gosh. No. Uh, we will do this. 50-ish? Thankfully, they are just made out of wood, so it should be easier to handle it if I screw up and put them in the wrong place. Okie dokie. Not in. Let's put some bars on. Okay, now... 
they are going to have to be yeah, on the bottom up here, but I want the flat side out. There we go. Okay. Oh, six of those are on. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get them hooked up. Now I'm wondering if I should have put these with the bars on the back sides. I don't necessarily need them here, but I might need them on the back side to keep me from falling off at some point. Go. It doesn't actually look all that different, but it is a little bit different. All right, that side is done. Then this side, I'm gonna put plates on it, but I actually have to go through here and knock this side out right on. I wonder. Yeah, that's the reason I had to pull the whole thing out because it puts the bar there. Dang it. Then I need these. Why the difference? Don't know. Because it's easier to upgrade. Uh, let me do this. Yeah, no, like that is probably how I should have done the other side too. Just to keep me from backing off and straight off of this thing. Alright, and that'll keep me from falling off right there. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Making some headway. Where'd my upgrade tool go? Making headway and then losing stuff in my inventory is basically how all of this is going to go. Uh, seriously. What did I do with it? Oh, I moved it. I got it. And as soon as I'm in, I'm absolutely sure that I like the way it's sitting, I'll go back and upgrade these bars with iron too. Uh, sadly, I don't think I'll get enough production on steel going in order to upgrade that further, but who knows? Who knows? There we go. Okay, before we move on, let's go ahead and... Fix these two. I, I don't like the fact that they're not even and they don't look right. I saw something out of the corner of my eye being sneaky over there. Okay, now that section's done. Let's get you upgraded. Alright, um. These ones, particularly along the front area. Or just more encouragement for the zombies to pick the spot I wanted them to pick. Um, Alright, all of this is taken care of. Now the only issue is I actually want to do bars all along these sides too. At least I think I do. Um, I was going to put the outward section on here, but I started thinking there's no point in me doing that if I'm not planning on the zombies coming out this far. I want them to go to here, and should they breach, there's going to be another line of defense here. Possibly with... Possibly with more spikes, or some more of those. I'm not sure which. Either way, I'm going to have to dig for that. Okay, zombie AI, let's think about this for a second. The reason why those guys that were stuck in the back got stuck in the back is because I shot my weapon and then they lost track of me, so they just kind of piddled in the back. Um, zombie AI for Horde Knight, they are going to know where I'm at the whole time. You can't hide from a Horde on a Horde Knight. So, that having been said, they shouldn't actually goof off in the other sections.
Thanks. He's not making it very far, and I haven't even refreshed the traps yet, so... And I don't have the secondary turrets out there either. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, what I was thinking. What I was thinking was, is just in case for some reason there's a breach, I need to make sure that I protect the inside of this area. But I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Because if they actually dig through and up, or breach somehow, say a cop explodes, and then another cop explodes, and then another cop explodes, and we wind up getting like a breach around there, they could very well find their way up. But, well, let's not operate that way. Let's focus... Let's focus the attention where we think our stuff is going to go. So, what else do we need here? I mean, this is obviously a really good chance of... The zombies are always going to path here. And out of all the places that they could go, either they're going to path here because my door's open for some reason or another, or they're going to path here because these blocks are so much weaker. Now these blocks being weaker is actually a problem because I actually need them to be strong. So what could I do to back them up and yet the zombies will still come to this section? What if I put hatches on the other side or vault doors on the other side? Now if I do that, these are going to have to become my little bunkers, and I'll have to run back and forth between both bunkers. Now what I mean by that is, is right behind it, have a vault door that'll fold up into it. If I do two vault doors, it'll take up two spots if I lay them on the ground. It'll fold up against it, and the zombies won't see that as a hindrance, so they won't calculate that into their pathing. They'll still come to this area. And then, that would give me an extra thing. I would just need a... an overhang? So we would have the block, the door, that is not a good drawing, Liz. What are you drawing? And then a block over the top of it. Send help. Anyway, uh... Vault door backer. Okay, now... Is there a way we could actually make it more defensible than this? If I was to solidify this and actually make my doorway the way to fight, I could make it a bunker right there. But I'm not sure if that's a good idea. With them spreading out all along the front, they're less likely to actually make it all the way through. They're less likely to make it all the way through because some of them are just going to get distracted with stuff. Uh, let's do that. It's still going to be weaker than those. And it's just going to be the plates that'll break. They still won't be able to get through. Uh, we'll check that for the next little horde that comes in and see whether or not they act right. Uh, Okie dokie. Alright. I think we're going to call it there. I'm going to try and remember this for whenever I record tomorrow because I do need to think of a backup system. It, they will easily bust through those blocks. So if I upgrade to hatches to put behind there and then put... Where are my regular frames at? If I do that... Now, putting another block back here. 
probably won't figure into their pathing because as far as they're concerned, this doesn't really block it. I'll have to try that though. So let me just pray, place these frames here and then we'll take a look and see how the zombies act. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I don't typically do brute force bases because the zombies aren't exactly uh, what you would figure a zombie would be. They're highly intelligent zombies that can see through walls and stuff. So I usually do a bit of cheese along my bases. This is the closest I'm getting to no cheese. We'll see how it goes. I will see you in the next one. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and you stay shiny. Bye!